yo, there's a war going on outside. No man is safe from. Yo, what up, troops? Now, in this video, we're going to talk about killing your approach anxiety with the antidote. Okay? So, this is a big topic because we all have it. We experience approach anxiety uh, growing up. Okay? Some to this day, we still experience it here and there. Whether you're going to a new job, whether you're going, um, you know, your daily life, whatever. But in this instance, we're talking about male to female interaction. Okay? This, we can actually have control over. Okay? So that's the difference, okay? Anxiety outside of this happens. Life happens, you know, we're there to adjust, make changes. However, in this case, male to female interaction, you have the power, okay, to make the changes you need to turn the tables and flip it to your favor, okay? So now, like life itself, anxiety happens with our, with our growth. As we're growing up in life, we have a lot of different things that happen to us, you know, with the, the it started from childhood, for example, uh, little boys and girls, how they interact in school, on the bus, you know, uh, our daily lives, our family, cousins, whatever. So a lot of times if you, for example, say you're a quiet kid and you want to make friends, right? Because when you're little, you want to make friends with people. You don't know who to talk to. You, just, you don't care. So if your experiences was, you know, you walked up to somebody and they say, hey, get out of here. Ew, don't play with me. I'm not your friend then you take that in. That goes into your hard drive. That's the first imprint of relationships, okay? Doesn't mean male, female, doesn't matter, okay? Now, your brain locks that in as an experience. So that experience stays with you guys. It doesn't go anywhere, okay? As you progress in life, you know, you may do better or you may do worse, depends, you know? You may attract people that I have negative mindsets. You don't know. So as we grow older, though, in life, we start to figure things out a little bit. But not all of us, okay? Now, anxiety happens to, you know, a lot of people suffer from anxiety, you know, across the board. The huge majority of people live, you know, their lives day to day, that kind of thing, all right? So let's get into it real quick. Now, in the male-female interaction, this thing we can change. Like I said, we have control over it. We have power over it to a large degree, okay? Now, if you have anxiety, approach anxiety, Women, you're afraid of women. You're afraid, not fr afraid like they're going to beat you up, but you don't want to approach them. You'd rather not, okay? With this new uh, this new male uh, uh, barrage of shaming and everything, I understand. But you can't take a back seat to society that way. You can't because you're going to be the one to suffer, okay? Society will move on, and you'll be the one to suffer, okay? So let's go over, let's get, let's, let's go over some of these things that um, apply to the anxiety uh, realm that we have some control over. All right, we'll get into it. Okay, first let's start out with um, the, the 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 fear of rejection. Okay, that's one of the larger fears. We all have that to some degree. Again, um, you may see some girl you really like, you approach her, she rejects you. Okay, that's fine. The key is that you made the approach. But in this case, we have an anxiety to approach. All right, so we're not doing that. Why? Because reject fear of rejection. You know, we're afraid, afraid of, deep down in our core, of not being loved, okay? Um, abandonment, isolated, being lonely, okay? So the, the, the very idea of approaching a woman, you know, for acceptance, all right? And being rejected, okay, is a big fear. People rather avoid that than to take a chance, okay? For example, a girl they see that they really like, but she's like giving them the really like giving them the, uh, the, the IOIs that she likes them, they won't bother. They won't even try it. If she does give IOIs, they'll second guess themselves. She says, Hey, come over here. You look cute. They'll still go, nah, nah, something's wrong with that. Right? That's the rejection. That's the biggest fear. They'd rather risk and miss out than take a chance of getting themselves hurt. Okay? So, another one. Why would that be? Probably the next one would be, be, be uh, not feeling you're enough. That gives you a lot of fear, okay? Fear of approaching because you don't feel good enough. I don't have an, I don't have what it takes for a girl like this, which is ridiculous. If someone likes you, they like you for who you are. Generally, that's what we want to think. But if a woman likes you, she doesn't know if you're broke, you don't have this, or you got money, you're rich or poor. They don't know that stuff. She knows what she, knows what she sees, likes what she sees. But, you know, again, you can easily blow it. And that's what the guys know. I can easily blow this because I'm not enough. I already know I'm not even going to bother. Why waste time 
approaching her when I know I'm not enough. I'm empty inside. There's nothing here for her to see. Okay? Not her fault. That's going to be on you. That's the story you tell yourself. All right? So that's another fear. So these things are, you know, they hold you back. Period. Okay? Um, and and that and that ends up having, like, for example, that'll give you, that'll cause you to have self-sabotaging behaviors. Okay? You have negative self-talk. You know, I can never get, you know, the girl that I like, they're all taken. You know, um, I wish I was born in the, 19, the 1840s. <laughs> Shit like that. You know, you start to um, create excuses why you can't um, move forward. You can't uh, progress in the a, in a, a relationship realm of having a woman that you really like or a girl that, that's, that could like you even. Okay, because this is all your self sabotage. So that negative energy you're putting out there to the world reinforces what you already feel. So you say, "See, I don't have this. So that's why I can't find the girl. That's why I don't have this. That's why I don't have a job." Poor me, boo hoo hoo. It's all on me. Okay, so you want to stop all these behaviors. These are really bad behaviors, guys. If you're doing any of these things here, you gotta knock it off. You really, because the onus is on you to change your life. No one can do it for you. Okay, you have to be part of your own. Uh, salvation here and get yourself out of situations like this on your own. You have to get help? Yes, but you have to make a decision to do that. Okay? You can have all up in the world, but if you're not ready, you're not ready. Okay? So get ready. So let's get, let's continue. So moving on here. So self-sabotage, fear of rejection, not being enough, that's going to definitely kill your confidence. Okay? In this realm. You could be a, a rock star, IT guy. You can be uh, uh, you know, uh, excel in everything else in life. But however, in this, in this particular, this, this domain, this arena here, where you have more control than over there, you feel you don't have the confidence. Okay. Now you may not feel like, um, that you have, you feel, you may feel inept. Okay. And competent when it comes to women. You don't have the words, the right words to say to her. You, if you, if you make an eye contact with a girl, you see a girl, she sees you, you look down. Or you look away, or she looks at you and smiles, you look away, you look up in the air, like, oh my goodness, she's talking to me? You know, no way. I can't, she can't, I don't, I'm not going over there. I don't have enough to give. You know? What do I what do I say to her? She's gonna know I'm boring. So what? Some girls like boring guys. You know? Some girls are especially the bad girls, the girls that are that are hot, guys, they talk a lot and they're that and they're lively, and the guy's always quiet, like they got polarity. You know, you're like, damn, why's he doing my heart? He's boring and shit. But that's what she likes. See, women don't even know what they like. That's why you have you always have a chance. Even if you, have, you don't have confidence, guys, that's going to kill it, though. Okay? You want to be a quiet guy? Be quiet. But you can be quiet and be confident. Confidence comes from the inside. Okay? What you believe in yourself. Nothing else. Nothing outside of that, of this world, can really change or affect your confidence except for you. Okay? Women know that. That's why the number one thing in one's a confident guy. I can't put confident guy. I can't be a confident guy here on this list first because you don't you don't have the what causes that confidence is rejection, not feeling you're enough, self sabotage. Then that kills your confidence. See what I'm saying? In this case, that's why it's not there first. Okay, let's move on. Okay, so with the confidence, of course you don't have your low self esteem. That's all part of the confidence thing. You don't feel like really achieving anything because what's the point? Okay. That, that's a bad place to be right there because, you know, you really don't believe in yourself. So how can someone believe in you? You know, a woman wants somebody that can believe in that's going to take the family forward. You're not giving that at all because you're saying, hey, don't look somewhere else. I don't, I don't have it. I can't look you in the eyes, you know. And that's really a really awful, that's a bad trait right there. Really bad confidence is, you know, because you can build this stuff up. Okay, let's continue. So with confidence, of course, now we're talking about now failure fear of failure okay that definitely falls into the confidence fray as well because fear of failure see the body and the mind you know the mind will will equate fear with pain okay and the mind the brain the mind doesn't know if that that pain is internal or external okay you get a, you break your elbow or you, you hurt your leg your, your pain that pain neurons fire off and it sends a message to that location. Okay? Now, same way, same thing with failure, fear of failure. If you fail, talking to a girl, you say, and, and that's and, and failure, failure is 
pre it's self ordained. You create what's failure. You decide what's a failure to you or not. And that's the magic of this whole shit. You don't have to suffer from failure. Okay? You have to fail to grow. So, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense for you to take failure as the end all be all. That's it. You know? No. It takes failure to grow. You have to know what you're doing wrong to get the shit right. Okay? That's why we're here now. That's why you're here. Okay? That's why you're on this particular this particular channel, this particular topic. Okay? There's a reason for it. Okay? Because deep down, you know what you need to do. You know something's got to happen. Something's got to be a change. Okay? Let's continue. So, and that fear of failure, of course, you know, it, it inhibits you because your body's trying to help you. It's saying, hey, you know, don't do that thing that causes you to feel this way again. And you go, yeah, okay. But she's cute. But, oh, no, yeah, I remember. Yeah, okay, I won't do that. Your, body, your, your, body, your brain doesn't know. Your mind doesn't know. Hey, he's trying to get some ass right now. <laughs> the body the body just saying, the brain just saying, hey, don't do that. So you don't move. You're inhibited. Okay? And that's why people live these, uh, they go through life just going through the motions. In mediocrity, you know what I mean? They go job to job to job, or girl to girl, or just having the same type of low-level chick. You know what I mean? And because they don't have to achieve anything more. You know? She looks at them with confidence. She looks at them and she says, "Wow, he's great." Yeah, she's a three, and you're a four. <laughs> so you don't have to really achieve much. She's boosting your ego just a little bit. That's all you need. And you go through life with this mediocrity. And lack of of, cha of challenge, okay? Lack of change, okay? And it reinforced that self-talk you had. All that talking and I don't have enough. It's never enough. This is not not love. All that stuff's reinforced by your behavior too. And that's your, your, your body, your brain's job is to reinforce what you believe. That's why you say, oh, I'm always stuck. How come I can't get ahead in life? Because you did that. Thank you. Congratulations. You created that world for your body to live in and for your mind to live through. Okay, you created that. You did that. It's wonderful. Be happy. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. You can't be happy because that's failure. Yeah, I got you. Uh, yeah. But see, you see the point? So on how you look at this shit. It really is. So with all that, you know, life, life, you live life with regrets. So don't do this. You live life with regrets because you never got to pull the trigger in life. Okay? You never got to really, even if, say you were a superstar uh, football player, okay, your quarterback, and now school is over, and you really didn't go to college because it was too much for you. You know, the guys there, you know, or you go to college, you see on the field, these guys are out of your, you, you can't compete with these guys, okay? They're monsters. You went to a small school, you know, in, in a small town, all right, in some state somewhere, and uh, you realize when the big, with the big boys, you you can't, you're invisible. You're like, you're like. You're not the starting quarterback. You're like the fourth quarterback, which they don't have before. They'll call you when you know when they're ready. So you realize that that's the end of your run. So you go back home to your hometown where you're a big shot. You know you're not, but at the, at, but at the end of the day, you'll take it. So your life, you go through life with this mediocre life, just the regrets. Okay. Now, the problem is that is that you don't. It's a safe fail. You don't want to fail. So the safe thing to do is stay in the middle. However. When you live your life that way, at the end of your life, you realize on your deathbed, you go, wow, you know, I have a lot of regrets. I never went out for it. I never went for my dream. So by living in the middle and staying in mediocrity like this and not going for the girl you want, not approaching, not reaching out, not, not doing what your body's telling you to do deep down is to go for it. You know, you're not doing it. You know, you live your life with regrets because... The very thing that tried to keep you from failing caused you to fail. Everything. You lost everything. You have now you're dying with regrets. You understand? See how this shit is rigged up? So you can't sit where you are if you're sitting with this anxiety. You can't sit there. Because it's still a failure. The best thing for failure is to get up and go again to grow. I mean, look at the analogies we talk about. Basketball, baseball, look at like the Michael Jordan's the best freshman. He, he got he failed in school. You know, he was in the high school JV. They didn't they didn't want him. That was a best failure. He, he said, nah, I'm gonna change the view. I'm gonna change how my life is going. I don't like what I don't like this stuff. I'm gonna show them this. I'm gonna show them, I'm gonna do this. 
did it. Just change. Just he could have. He could have been a perfect example. Of someone to sit home, go through life of mediocrity. We never know who he was. What tenth grade? Something like that. We would never know. Look at the greatness. Come on, simple. There's a lot, a million stories like that, but that one that's a recognizable person. We know Michael Jordan for the most part. Most people, most people know who he is, so it's a very good reference to use. He talks about this stuff. It's a very good reference. Okay, so what does this mean? All right, so let's get all off the table. Let's get all right now. You decided that. Listen, I don't want to live this. What do I do to change? I got to get some. I got to. I got to boost. I got to get my anxiety in check. Okay, because it's your, it's your that's your world to rule. Okay, whether you do or not, that's your choice. Okay, obviously if you're here, you're choosing to do what's better for you. Okay, so let's apply the antidote here. So the first part of the antidote is going to be acknowledgement. Okay, like with anything that you know we don't want to face in life, you're like over here. I don't want to. Ah, you got to face it. Okay, I don't care if you're. An alcoholic, a, a dope fiend, meth head, or whatever you call it. But, you know, those things, you have to face, you know, your demons, okay, so to speak. But you have to face what you're dealing with on the inside. And that thing on the inside is what's holding you back, okay? So that fear of approaching a woman, when you see something you like, you know you like her. The body's, all the mu the muscles, the body, everything's working on the inside. That should be working, all right? So you're just holding back and suppressing how you really feel, okay? that That's that's the problem, okay? Because of the mental construct that you built around that emotion. When A happens, B steps in and shuts everything down, okay? So we want to take away that B factor, okay? Move it to the side and shuffle it away, okay? Burn it. Because it's only holding you back from life. And and not only that, when you start doing living like this with with with, with certainty and, and you have this confidence, everything comes to you, man. It comes to you. You know? Women, the, the jobs and everything else, you, it, it gets better. It can't be it can't be no worse than what you're doing right now. If you're losing, failing, regretting life, living mediocrity, that's the worst thing you can do. You're doing nothing. You don't really know. All right? So let's get to the antidote real quick. Like I said, first thing you want to do is acknowledge. You know, fuck. Look in the mirror and be like, you know what? I'm fucking around. I'm tired. I'm, I, I want to get this. I want to get this under control now. Okay. Why am I scared of girls? Girls are good for me. You know. Not all girls are good, but for your own selfish reasons, in this case, you got to get out of the fray. You got to break. Okay. That habit. Okay. The negative self self talking and the, the, all the downer, you know, attitude and all, why I always me type shit, all right? You need to get rid of that. So, acknowledging, first of all, uh, that, that you lack knowledge, okay? That's the key. Where do I find such a self? Where do I find, blah, 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 you know, myself? What's, what do I need in here to pull out and correct, okay? So I can get moving, okay? What's my motivation, okay? Look at yourself. Find out what, what holds you back from talking to women. What makes you, what you're afraid of. What, what makes you feel like you, are, you need to jet or run, you know, that fight or fight response. What makes you feel like you need to get out, out of the area when a girl talks to you. Think about that, okay? Now, once you do that, now, a lot of times when you have the approach to anxiety, because you don't know the knowledge, you're unprepared, okay? So, acknowledgement. Then you want to prepare yourself so it doesn't happen again. In case of, so I get a plan now, so when A happens, I can start going B, C, D, E, boom, and knowing the moves to make, all right? So, the second one, like I said, will be to prepare yourself. Prepare yourself and lock it in. I tell you to lock things in, okay? I got a black box system. I want you to lock it in your black box here. Boom, lock it in, okay? What you're going to lock in is all these attributes, okay? The things that you want, okay? So, next thing is going to be to focus on your desires. Focus on your, your reticular active system, your RAS. Reticular activating system will kick in when you see a girl that appeals to you. Because the body is looking for signals from other girls, trying to connect, trying to connect, trying to mate, trying to bond, okay? Trying to drop seeds, okay? Lay off dick and all that, okay? That's why. So, when you see a girl you like... Your body responds, okay? And you look, you say, wow, I like that, okay? 
That's when you take notes. Boom. She's got a nice ass. Her eyes are beautiful. Her hair. Oh, look at the nails she's got. She's got, uh, oh, boom. I like the waistline. I like the wide hips. Boom. Legs. Boom, boom. So on, so on, so on. You do an inventory of what you like. Put it in that black box. Okay? That black box is a locked box. That's your box. Okay? Now, yeah, that stuff in there. You're preparing yourself. So... With the black box, you got all the attributes that you like in a woman, the things that drive you crazy about a woman, okay? Some of those things you see in the girl across the way. Oh, shit. Yep, she's got that. She's got, oh, I like that. Oh, nice, nice tits. Wow, great smile. Like the smile, right? So whatever the attributes are, they're in here. If they're not, you put them in there. Oh, shit, I didn't see that. Beautiful skin. You know, this is, this is your type. You're building a type reference okay and that can expand into infinity that's up to you but you put it in your box you lock it in okay now your ras your reticular active system knows what to search for okay it knows what to search for because you already ordained it got it so now that is yours having that this right here this goes here right in front of you now you know where you're heading to when you move forward you see a girl now, because what's in here, you see a girl you're like now, it's going to fire off in your system. Oh, shit, look at this girl. She looks great. You're going to sit up, and you're going to go in your box and go, yep, blah, 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 I got it. Now, you have all your desires and your wants. You know what you want. You know what you desire, okay? That motivates you to move forward, okay? That, with that alone it's, it's your manhood. The desire gives you the manhood. It's the manhood challenging you to, and the mechanism, okay, your approach mechanism starts to go in reverse. In other words, your approach mechanism starts to, to jar at you and say, go get that. Go get it. Oh, look, this, that. It's in our box. Go get it. You understand? So you're able to go in your box. Your body, you lock this box, boom, lock it in. Because your brain now knows what you're looking for. It'll sort for those things, Okay? Like buying a car. If you want to get a Ford Taurus for whatever reason, nothing wrong, no, no offense to Ford Taurus, but I'm just saying. But if you want a Ford Taurus, for example, and you buy a red one with, uh, you know, tires and the whole kit on it or whatever, and you go outside, you see everybody got them, right? But it's the car you want, it's the type, the tires, the make, the model, blah, blah, blah. So same thing, you know? Um, and you see a lot of them out there, but that's what your eyes sought for. So your reticular active system kicks in and you pick those things up. Same thing here, except this time, what we're going to do, you're going to keep adding stuff to your repertoire, adding to your arsenal, adding to your arsenal. Boom, she got this, she got that. The more you have, you see a girl that fits the criteria, your activated system, your approach system, will ne your mechanism will kick in, all right, and it will override your fears to do anything other than go after her, because you should go and talk to her. You should go and reach out. I should go make something happen, okay? When invited. So now you've got that set, okay? Now because you have your desires and your wants and you know what you're looking for, you have a reason to move. You got a reason to approach. I got a reason to approach her, okay? A reason to move forward, okay? Why? You fit my criteria. I know what I like. I know what I'm looking for, okay? Now that you're aroused because of your desire, you have confidence, okay? Uh-oh. I see a girl checking me out. Now you have the confidence, you have the focus, you have the desire, you know what you want, you're prepared, okay, and your focus is locked in, laser lock focus, okay? Now that you have this stuff locked in, you're waiting for her now, okay? You've built yourself up already just by having, knowing what you want and having a purpose and a reason to go after it. You can't say this time, oh, well, maybe she doesn't like me. No, you already got the reasons already in here. This is what I want, I desire, and this is what I need, okay? The confidence is up at a high level now. Your confidence is all the way up because you have proof. You have proof right here. It's locked inside. Don't forget, you got that proof. And you also have certainty now. Now you have certain. You're certain that you can walk to a girl and have desire for her. You have, because it's going to override your, your fear, okay? Desire and want will override that fear, okay? What makes a mouse go for a, a cheese on a, on a trap, in a trap? Knowing the trap is there. The desire and the want and the need for that cheese. The mouse knows it's a, he knows it's a trap. 
They know it's a trap and shit. That's why you go in in the morning, the motherfucker's empty and shit. You're like, damn, he got me again. Motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, until you get a cat, then you go, uh-oh. I don't want that much, you know, but he'll still try to get the fucking cheese, even though the damn cat's in the house, you know? Look at Tom and Jerry, man. <laughs> but but that's the same point, okay? So your desire and your want and your needs are so high, plus with the skill set now that you have, you have a system, okay? This skill set, this skill set gives you a system and it gives you certainty. Now you have certainty on how to approach and just go up to her because it doesn't matter what you say because all of a sudden you don't care about what to say. You have confidence. You don't need to know what to say. You don't have. You don't have to say, wait a minute. What do I say to her? Like all oh, this desire, this need, this this law, this want. What do I say to her? It doesn't matter. What you say doesn't matter to her now because you're in the right frame. Okay, your desires overrides your fears. Your wants overrides your fears. Your needs override your fears. To combine that common that that triple that triple effect. Forget about it. You look at her, don't forget. And now she gives you the sign. You wait patiently. Okay? I'm not saying you sit there and stare at her and shit like, okay, I don't know why or why. You're doing your own thing, going about your business, work, club, uh, church, whatever it is. You're minding your own business, but your, your RAS, your reticular active system is, is always on. Okay? It's like a satellite. It's always on. So it'll, it'll let you know when someone's checking you out. All right? So, you get the you get the sign, boom! Oh snap! You see it? You go in your box. You know what you like? She oh she check she's checking off marks she's checking off markers on your box. Ass boom, eyes boom, hair boom boom. Those markers check off. Your body goes go get it. Go. She's got the thing. Yeah, yeah. Now go. No time to think. There's no time to hesitate and stall. See how that works? So it, now. See, and when you approach, see, here's the deal. The whole object of this whole thing is to approach. This don't become outcome dependent. Okay? Forget approach is about you. You got to be selfish at this point. This is where you get a little selfish. It's not about her. It's about you bringing what you have forward. Okay? Talk to her or whatever, whatever. If it's a failure, she says no, whatever. Put that in the box. Figure it out. Good. Now I know what not to do this time. Now I'm going to go this way. There's two more girls. Boom, boom, boom. Same thing. Oh, that one, that didn't work. Okay, this is here. Boom. And you're growing. You're growing in knowledge now. You already have the wheels of confidence, all right, to drive you forward. Okay? Look at my video on um, um, how to properly approach women. Uh, pro approach women properly with confidence. Look at that video. Uh, that'll be, that'll, that'll seal this up, okay? But that... This is an anxiety, anxiety part of it. So the anxiety part is the hardest part. If you have this situation, it's really tough to get out of, guys. So, again, this takes practice, but you got to know what you want. Once you know what you want, you desire it, you're going to need it, and you demand it. But then you get it. But you got to be patient. If she's giving you IOIs, indicators of interest, okay, wait for a couple of cues. Don't just go in the first one and run up there and, you know. But as you approach a woman, again, your desires and your needs, see them being realized. Okay, this will, keep, this will keep you in your emotional state and not logical state. Okay, again, look at the other video I talked about on approaching women properly. Okay, the proper way to approach women. Look at that video. That'll explain this in a little more detail too. All right, yo. So, um, subscribers, I appreciate you guys out there. This is family out here. So, listen, like, subscribe, comment below. XL, and I'm out.